Welcome to Jogja, located between Bali and Jakarta. This royal city is known for their Javanese arts, like textiles, drama, poetry, and we're here to explore the food. Let's experience the culture. <laughs> and the temples, let's get going. To Jogjakarta. Here we go. Jogjakarta. Jogjakarta, not Yogyakarta. I call it Yogyakarta. Made it to our room, finally. Ooh. Now give us some time to freshen up. How do you get a shower so bad? Jogja. Jogja, Jogja. Jogja Kata. Our first meal of the day is local Indonesian food at the House of Ramidin. This place is highly recommended from locals and also our hotel concierge. Let's try it out. Let's try. Oh, she's everywhere. Oh, look like my mom. Yes. I'm starving. Man. Today we're sitting on the floor eating like the locals at this amazing restaurant. It looks so beautiful. It's like eating at a temple. Yeah. Right? There's incense, there's bells. I chose myself this one. It's a chicken dish with a whole bunch of sides. I went for noodles. Noodles, of course. Of course. I got the bak mi You got the bak mi jawa. Which All right. is traditional fried noodles. Japanese fried noodles. That's $2.50. I know, so cheap. <laughs> this looks really interesting because I've been craving soup noodles as well. Mm. But I don't know if this is soup noodles, but I saw it's soup with beef meatballs. So and I just you got, got the bakso. And we also got two juices that all came down to less than $10 Australian. Oh my gosh. Insane. I'm a little bit worried about the quality of the food. Gonna have to be a little bit extra careful when it comes to ice, water, and yes. also the produce. But let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. Our first time trying this traditional meal. I know. Yeah. It's such a local experience. There's only local feel. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so cool. Ooh. Thank you. Look how long they are. So long. Cheers. Very delicious. So my meal has arrived first. It is chicken rice with some salad, this orange looking special cool thing. A very small piece of chicken, but this plate of food was very cheap. First meal in Jogjakarta. Mm. Oh yeah. Soft piece of chicken. Nothing too spectacular, but I think you're supposed to eat it with the orange floss and chili. Mmm. It's sweet, a little spice, it's coconutty. A nice mixture of ingredients. Mmm. Bae, how are you eating a hot bowl of noodles? I didn't think it through. This is actually steaming hot. It looks like Ooh. instant ramen noodles with fish balls, bit of veggies. Kind of like what you make at home. Yeah. Where you have leftover hot pot ingredients. Bakso. Bakso. Good bakso. Bakso. Bakso, good. Onion. Good soup? Yeah, so light and flavorful. I'm this tastes it like a chicken broth, you know? Very light chicken broth. Oh, yum. Mm. Yeah. Full of flavor. Yeah. MSG. A lot of flies too, so watch out. Those just look like standard noodles to me. Mm. Nice. This is a two minute noodle dish. <laughs> Let me try the beef. No wonder you love it. Mmm. Nice punches. Reminds me of like street food in Asia. Mmm. I'm dripping sweat. It's so hot right now. <laughs> this is hot. This is hot. Everywhere. This is hot. hot. Thank you. Try a bit of mine. Chicken, bean shoots, chili, and the sweetness from that mm. shredded orange coconut thing. That's delicious. It's very good. I like it. Bae's last dish is a mee goreng looking kind of noodle. Excuse me, it is a buck me oh. jawa. Not a mee goreng, okay? Buck me, buck you! It looks really saucy, full of flavor. Tomato and lettuce and cucumber on the side. That will not be touched. This was so cheap, just a few dollars. I know. 
I can't believe how cheap everything is. Cheers, everyone. Mm. That smells amazing. Mm. Yeah? Is it good? Mm. Damn. Maybe it's so delicious. I can't believe this is so cheap, so delicious. I can eat this every single day. Not even kidding. Let's try out these noodles. You got like small little pieces of meat in there, like all shredded, so it sticks to the noodles. And the sauce on that, I love that color. Mmm, that's amazing. That sweetness. Oh, yum. Oily, delicious noodles. I love the noodles as well, so chewy and yummy. Excuse me. Mm. You're not allowed to eat at all. Food is so cheap and delicious here. How could that be less than $10? I know. Three dishes, two drinks. Oh my goodness. Mind blown. Yeah, that buck me jawa, babe. Yes. Those fried noodles. So delicious. Oh. That is literally now the best thing I've eaten in Indonesia. Wow. Yep, this is now my favorite restaurant in Indonesia. <laughs> You really love Lady Ramen, do. don't you? I love you. you. I love you. She's pretty Not damn only hot. is it so cheap, I mean, it is so delicious. Ticks my boxes. Yeah. We're now shopping at the Malio Boro Mall. This area is very popular. Whole bunch of souvenirs without getting scammed or cheated on because there are no tourists here. I'm definitely gonna get some goodies. They saw some really cool anime shirts here. Some glow in the dark, some for adults, some for kids, and a whole variety of shows. Wow. It glows in the dark as well. Yeah. The sun rides. Oh. Damn, that's so cool. So apparently a lot of Indonesians come to Yogyakarta for a vacation on the holidays. So you won't find a lot of tourists here, just locals shopping and having a good time. We're getting taken around from my friend from Dodja. What's up, man? Say hello, Batik brother. Batik He's showing us some art, some sort of museum from the best Indonesian artists showcasing their artwork. Huh? That guy that took us to the art gallery, hmm, some scammy vibes going on. So we didn't get anything, but they were pressuring us a little bit. We're now shopping at the market and surprisingly, no one is pressuring us to buy anything, which is a breath of fresh air. I kind of want them to push me around now. What's going on? This is weird. The people here are too nice. They've never seen a Chinaman from Australia before. It's freaking them out. It's kind of weird though. Why aren't they asking me to buy something? They're just staring at me, dude. What's going on here? Hello, how are you? Uh, Australia. Australia. Yeah, how you doing, mate? So, Bay, what can you buy at this market? Lots of souvenirs. Yes. Which I got. A lot of clothing. Yes. Right? Tons of Indonesian. Yes, clothing. yeah. Very, very, very nice people. Very, That's very nice. That's for sure. But I feel like we're very foreign to this. Yeah. Like everyone is looking at us. Mm. So we can confirm that the people that come up to you on this strip and ask you to go to the art show are scammers. They try to sell fake art, all right? Do not trust them. Well, that was an interesting evening in Jogja. It's been wonderful. But we're gonna get some rest and we'll see you real soon. Yes, more exploring and of course Jogja Carter. See Yay. you in one second. Hi. One second later, hello. Hi. We'll be now going to Bodobudur Temple mm. and I've been really looking forward to visiting this temple. Yes, the place looks very beautiful and it's about a one hour drive away. So let's get going. <laughs> let's go. And this is the Phoenix Hotel we're staying at. It's not sponsored, but it is absolutely beautiful. I recommend it. Just purchased our tickets to the temple. It costs 45 Australian per person, which lets you explore the top and the bottom of the temple of Morabadur. Morabadur. Can't wait to check it out. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting. <laughs> I hope so.
We are now about to enter the Borobudur Temple and it's a whole process to get in. First, you have to get your tickets. You can book it online or you can get it at the counter. Yes, yes. Then you choose a scheduling time, yes. right? Each session is an hour apart. Yes, once every hour. Then you get your wristbands, you go through security. If you're wearing shorts, dresses, skirts that are above knee height, you're yes. going to have to put on one of these. You see that? I got pants on. I like it. I like it a lot. And then you pick up your slippers. You also get free water. <laughs> yeah. Pick up your slippers for the temple and then look for your guide. They'll give you a card and you find your guide and then they'll escort you to the temple yeah. and show you around Barabadur. 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 Barabadur temple. Very, very interesting. It's a whole massive process, but I get it. It's a very sacred, sacred temple. Yeah. And also one of the seven wonders of the world, apparently. Ooh. This is our tour group. We're now heading to the temple. The tour goes for one hour, no more than that. So make sure you stick with your group. You can't just wander off on your own. Yeah. And don't forget to be respectful. Hell yeah. We are now climbing up the temple. We just had a 30 minute history lesson from our tour guide. Told us some really interesting facts about Borobudur, such as how many times it's been destroyed from just like weather, rain, volcanoes. It's been restored multiple times as well. And also a lot of the Buddhas are damaged. Like they don't have an arm, they don't have a head and they're not allowed to fix those because that's not the way of archeology. span I'm well, tired. they are allowed to fix them, but they have to find the right head and the right arm, um, right, the right. right Buddha statue. Right, they and they can't put it on any. And that's, so that's the reason. What they've been trying to figure out this whole entire time yeah. with technology, but it's still not there yet. Let's check out the temple now. This is Borobudur. Borobudur. It is the largest Buddhist temple in the world. Wow, it was amazing. originally built in the 9th century between 760 to 830 AD. Damn, so it's over a thousand years old? Yeah. No way. It is so beautiful and we're so lucky we get to visit. Look at these sculptures. Insane. Every one of these unique and different to the other. And I'm surprised they could restore a lot of these. And I can see why they would get damaged. I mean, look at it. Thousands of years it has survived. Mother Nature, incredible. I mean, look at this place. Absolutely magical. I cannot believe that I'm standing on such a beautiful temple. This place is unreal. And I also can't believe that this was completely man-made. How did they create and construct such a magnificent building? It's insane. This temple is just, it is the man. We're now on the fifth level and I feel like it's very quiet, eerily quiet here. And if you just wander off on your own, you could get lost. Like, what if one of these blocks open up and you fall right through into a trap? I watch way too many movies. So if you walk around the top one, three, five times, make a wish and it will come true. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's do it. Now we have circled the temple five times for our final wish, the one that will come true. Ooh. You know what I'm gonna wish for? What are you gonna wish for? Can't tell you. <laughs> Just in case. We're gonna wish for the same thing. I already know it. Here we are. What will happen? The end. Thank you. Five left. Five. The Let's lucky make last wish. Our final wish, guys. To Buddha. And a donation for the monks. Here we go. There you go to make our wish come true. <laughs> Yay. And that was the temple. Easily one of the best temples in Indonesia, if not Asia. Absolutely loved it. And I recommend you drop by. It's worth the money. It's worth the trip here.
I think so too. I think it's just so amazing to see that this temple was founded and built in the 9th century. <laughs> like that's just insane. And we get to visit it, we get to see it up close. Yeah. Wow, what an experience. A piece of history. Yeah. Now, I need a piece of food. Oh, in my belly, come on. What about walking? Pack a sandwich if you're coming, man. So much walking and the air up there is a little thick and hot. My goodness. Let's get going. We're at Plaza Amburukmo here for our first meal and this place is really Christmassy. I like it. <laughs> Yeah! That store was awesome. It's like a Daiso on steroids. Some of the coolest stuff and awesome little goodies. Check it out. After such a long day, we couldn't say no to all you can eat. So we're trying our Japanese Shabu Shabu buffet here at Shaburi and Kimten. Let's check it out. Welcome to All You Can Eat Hot Pot in Indonesia. Yeah. Shabu Shabu. Shabu Shabu. Yes. Shabu Shabu. So this place also has a Kintan buffet, which is an all you can eat Japanese barbecue, which is located on the other side of the restaurant. And in the middle, you can get so many sides, so many sides. noodles chips, fried stuff, sushi, so many goodies. And today we got ourselves all you can eat. They have the regular shabu for $20, but we got the special shabu so we can get that Australian Angus beef. Yes. <laughs> or you can treat yourself and go premium. premium shabu. You get 90 minutes to eat. And the best part is it's unlimited. Unlimited. Let's go. Here's That's the latest it. soup. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> got ourselves a raw egg. <laughs> for your sukiyaki. All right, so what we're gonna do is, is get some sides from the middle of the restaurant yes. and then our meat will come as we shop for oh my more God, food. I'm so excited. Let's go. Buffet. Oh, you can eat. We can eat, let's do it. So let me take you on a little tour to the center of the restaurant where you can get a whole bunch of sides, bulgogi, there are meats. So if you don't want to eat the shabu shabu itself, you can grab food from the side over here, which is awesome, man. Unlimited drinks as well. Look at this, lemonade, orange juice, black currant, Coke, and so much more. Another awesome thing about this restaurant is they have a QR code where you can order food from your mobile so you don't have to keep asking the waiter for more meats and feel guilty. You can just press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten servings or whatever the hell you want and it'll come to. I got myself the sukiyaki sauce and it comes with a raw egg. Look at that. Delena ordered herself the hot miso and the original soup. Let's put this raw egg into this steaming pot of sukiyaki sauce. Wow, everything turned to heaven. Say hello to the first round of Shabu Shabu. Shabu Shabu. Let's go, we got tons of meat, whole yeah. bunch of sides, noodles, oh. meats, veggies, Everything tofu, eggs. So good. Are you ready to eat? Yes, All right. of course. We're gonna start off with this fatty meat. Ooh. Can you put some in? And all you gotta do is leave it in there for a few seconds and it's ready to eat. This is so cool. You know what we should do is, Shabu Shabu for 90 minutes and then get that Japanese barbecue on the other side oh for 90 minutes. <laughs> this is why I'm marrying you, baby. Look, right. it's cooked already. Well done. You want to try it out? Oh, you got dips? Yes. Woo! Good. Soup base is not as good as Japan, but I mean, the meat pot is still really good. Yeah. It's fatty, it's juicy. I love it. Less than $30 that you yeah. need per person. How can we complain exactly. with this massive feast? And it's only round one. Okay, I need to eat. I'm starving. Dip it in the delicious soup. Let it swim in there for a few seconds and it's ready to go. Wow, look at that. And I've got my egg in there too. Now my soup looks kind of weird, but. Woohoo! Dip it in. Let's go. Cheers. Mmm. I love that sauce. It's my favorite, man. Oh, the rice is so good too. I'm gonna have to say it. This place is amazing. I've had one thing, but that's enough to know. The soup base is good. The rice is perfect. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to set you down and I'm gonna eat alone. You guys can watch Delena feast for the rest of the episode. It's just gonna be eating right now. No talking. It has been a very long day. Yeah, it has lots been. Lots of walking, lots of exercising. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh, thank you. Oh, you got me a chawamushi? Yeah. Look at that chawamushi. Unlimited supply. Hell Hello. yes. I'm 
just so excited for this. Haven't had buffet for a while. Capche. I got some crab sticks on the side. Ooh. Also a beef hot dog. That's so delicious. Yeah, I mean it's on the level of onion side in Japan. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I'd have to say. That's true. It's still just as good. But a lot cheaper because drinks are already included as well. So you get free drinks, free dessert, unlimited sides, yeah. and a whole bunch of meat for 90 minutes. Yeah. How can Definitely we complain? We cannot complain. Everything's tasty, delicious. So, so cheap. You ready? You need as much as you want. I'm not going to feel guilty. Ooh. Oh, I should have got it in an uh, empty bowl to eat it. That's what I did wrong. I guess I'll do some work. <laughs> they even have tempura side dish. Let's try this. Mmm, yum, tasty. I'm cracking my egg. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's a hard boiled egg. Oopsie daisies. I don't think John's gonna eat this. Here's your sauce. Oh, thank you. I got some karage chicken. Oh. Right here, karage chicken. And here's your bowl. Here you go. Thank you. There's like a concert going on downstairs, so uh, don't mind it. If you speak any Indonesian, please let us know what he's saying. As you can see, service is really good. They saw the flies surrounding us. <laughs> I guess we stink a little. <laughs> I love Jakarta. I think I like it a little bit more than Bali sometimes because there are no tourists here. Yes. Food is so cheap, no scammers. Well, not many. And uh, everyone is so helpful. Yes. And there's so many restaurants and shopping malls. Balinese food is really good as well. Babi guling, the rice dishes with chicken. Even, I even enjoyed the babek, it was not bad. Well, I mean, if you're in Bali, might as well just take a one hour flight to Jogja. Yeah. And stay here for the two nights and then go to the temple and do what we're doing. It's so good. Yeah. All right, babe, have one more bite and I think I'm going to put the camera away. Yes. No, I really to just go. want to enjoy this dinner. 65 minutes left. 65 minutes? That's because you went away for a while. Come on, what are you doing? Just have a slurp already. Stop trying to get me. Why is there a freaking massive leak on your fingernail? Come on. And that's a wrap. If you don't see this restaurant in Indonesia anymore, you know why. Oh, so full, man. We ate so much. I kind of feel bad for the restaurant, but $62 Australian total after some surcharges, only $30 each. That's insane. Good food, good service, a hell of a time. I guess the only bad thing about it was there were maybe too many flies, but that's not the restaurant's fault. Yeah. You're not saying much. Are you okay? I had so much. <laughs> All right, let's I go. I had so much. Let's go. Squish your big belly. <laughs> and that was our time in Jakarta. Sorry, but it was uh, short but very sweet. Would I come back? Probably not. But the one time was definitely worth it and I had so much fun here. I think you should definitely come once. If you're into culture, yes. art, or you love temples, then definitely follow definitely. down just for the Borobudur temple. That Buddhist temple was absolutely yeah. insane. Definitely come down for that. Yes, that an amazing experience. was a Michelin star temple. All right, have a good night. We'll see you in Jakarta. Our, Our final stop. Oh, Jakarta. Let's go.